All right, I saw your hand first, onion mask, so I will bring you up here with me. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you can come up here. Let's see. That is quite peculiar, it's not letting you up here. You all can come up. Well, that's okay. We can... Huh. Oh, perfect. Wonderful. So, this is how the game works for all of you new players. My contestant here will think of an object that they can create with magic, but will not tell me what it is. I will have 20 yes or no questions to try to guess the object. And you all can help me with hints if it looks like I'm struggling. And if I guess it right, that means we both win because I'm a good guesser and you're a good question answerer. And if I don't get it and you stump me, that means you win because you came up with a very creative thing. So no matter what happens, you win. That's the kind of game I like. So have you thought of an object yet? All right, let us see the questions. Question one. Is it a food? Yes. Question two. Is it a vegetable? No. Hmm. Question three. Is it a fruit? Question four. Is it a sandwich of some sort? Question five. Oh, is it, a, is it sweet? Yes. All right. Question six. Is it candy? No. Question seven. Is it a cupcake? Oh, that cupcake reminds me of the cakes my, my sister Dasha made me for my birthday. It was the best thing ever. Um, anyway, is it, um, is it ice cream? Is it the Gerald ice cream? Is it the MC ice cream? Oh, amazing! So, create your ice cream and I will make it into a trophy for you. Oh, I do love ice cream. Yes, and I, I love the MC ice cream in particular. The MC is a really great boss to for. I love him so much, and he has very great taste in furniture and all those kinds of things. Yes. You, I'll, I'll bring you up next, my returning player. All right, so let me make that into a trophy for you. And there you go. It's going to make it big. It might be a bit heavy, but it looks so nice like that. Hey, give him back a trophy. Let's round of snacks for our first player. You'll go next. Let me uh, bring you up here. Whoop! Wait, it didn't bring you up here. That's quite peculiar. Something is, you know what? Interesting. Well, you were able to get up here. Oh, so you can come this way. Beautiful. Oh, I'll have you go third. But, wait, come back. There's a crab face. Let's see. Let me see if I can... Huh. It seems like it, I'm, I'm moving and not you, which is very the opposite of what I'm... MC! And see, I think, I think physics stopped working again. I think you need to uh, reset gravity and science and everything like that. Can you do that? I don't, this is so weird. This place gets weirder and weirder the longer I'm here. Okay, so you're up here now. Everyone else except my crab friend, please exit the stage. And you're kind of floating, but you're, you're fine. You're great, you're doing great. Um, but yes, everything gets weirder the longer I spend here. Um, like, I think it was time that I tried to do my show up here. Oh, there you are, beautiful. All right, uh, last time I tried to do my show up here, I was on stage 
and it was just this uh, the same backdrop, this this set that I always use with the lovely little chairs and the drums, but a couple of people in the audience saw Apple Pie Bundy performing behind me, and I didn't see him there, and the rest of the audience didn't see him there, and it was the strangest thing. And I, I, I don't think he's here right now, but I've just got to say, Apple Pie Bundy is the most annoying man I have ever met. He is quite difficult to work. Like, ugh. if you if you ever get a, a stage show or whatever here, just just try not to have a, a your act right before or after him, because he is a diva. You know, he has he demands a, a bowl of green M and M's in the dressing room, like only the green ones. The sweepers have to go in and pick out all the colors that aren't green. Anyway. <laughs> So have you thought of an object yet? All right. Question one. Is it a musical instrument? No. Question two. Is it bigger than your head? It's about the same size? All right. Question three, is it found in nature? It kind of not really. All right, question four, is it a food? No. Question five, is it a drink? No. Question six, is it an animal? Oh, question seven, is it a snail? Question eight, is it a puppy? <gasps> oh, excellent! Make your puppy and I'll make your puppy trophy. Beautiful. I love puppies. You know, back in Russia, my sisters and I had a little puppy named Pasha. Beautiful. Oh, it might be kind of heavy, but congratulations. All right, I believe I said you were going to go next in the druid mask there. Yes? All right, let me see if I can bring you up here. Nope, nope. <laughs> MC, I think you need to fix gravity again. Oh, there you are, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right, have you thought of an object yet? Yes? All right. Let me begin the questions. Is it round in shape? No. Question two. Is it more of a squarish, rectangle-ish, cubish shape? No. It's neither round nor square. All right. Question three. Is it, um, is it made of plastic? No. Question four, is it made of metal? Question five, is it edible? Yes, all right. Question six, is it a fruit? No. Question seven, is it a vegetable? It's a vegetable, all right. Question eight, is it a broccoli? It is! Oh my goodness! Oh, let's, let's make you a broccoli trophy! Congratulations, winner! Make your broccoli and I will turn it into a beautiful trophy for you. Alright! Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna make it big. So you can show off that you are a winner. Thank you for playing. Okay. Oh, how'd you get up there? Usually I send people up there to punish them, but you seem to be there by choice. It is quite cozy. And it's a fun place to dance if we were having a dance party. Maybe we will have a dance party after this. Let's do that. 
<laughs> anyway, um, who wants to go next? All right, I saw you, Cheese Mask. Let's see if we can come up here. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Brilliant. So, have you thought of an object yet? Good. Let's see, let's see. Question one. Uh, is it a food? Yes. Question two. Is it... Uh, is it a uh, vegan? No? Alright. Question three. Is it... Uh, is it bigger than your hand? around the same size? Question four. Is it a steak? No. Question five. Is it fish? No. Question six. Is it cheese? Oh, I'm thinking because of your face. That would be a, that would be too obvious. Uh, question seven. Is it, is it a sandwich of some sort? No. So it's not a burger. All right. Question eight. Is it, um, is it a cupcake? Ooh, question nine, is it an egg? Hmm. Oh, is it wet food? <gasps> of course, of course. Oh, how could I forget about wet food? All those kitty cats love it so. Yes, you know, back in Russia, I also had a cat. My sisters and I, we had our dog, Papa, and our cat, Tasha. They were so cute. I miss them so much. Anyway, congratulations on being a winner. Oh, there's the puppy again. Let's see. Yes, he looks just like my little Tasha. Anyway, who wants to go next? I think... You haven't gone yet, right? No, you have gone. Who has, has everyone gone? You haven't gone? Oh, well, come on down. Oh yes, it worked. Thank you for fixing gravity, MC. You're the best boss ever. You're totally great and your taste in suck at all, not suck. Anyway, have you thought of an object yet? Good. All right, let's begin the questions. Is it electronic? No. Question two. Does it have to do with music? No. Question three. Is it... Uh, is it heavy? A little bit? All right, question four. Is it bigger than your head? Yes. Question five. Is it a toy? It kind of... Question six, is it a weapon? Question seven, is it a sword? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm getting better at this. Oh. Well, make your sword, I'll make you a sword trophy. Oh, I might be getting too good at this. <laughs> if I guess everything, then it's not fun, is it? I'll have to come up with a new game show to do for you. Hard mode? What would hard mode of 20 questions be? Maybe I should only ask questions where I can't use the letter E or something like that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, here we go. Beautiful, giant, heavy, impractical sword. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for playing. And about that dance party I was talking about. How about we do that for a little bit? Oh, okay, and see? Okay, um, he clearly does not uh, want me to be on the stage anymore. Maybe he thought that I was talking about him with such sarcasm. You're, you're a really great boss, MC. It's so fun to work for you. Um, anyway. We could do a little dance party until the next act comes on. How about that? 
Uh, could you change the music to something a little bit more danceable, please? Hello? MC? No? All right, I guess we'll just have to stick with this. It's, it's got a bit of a groove, I suppose. I do get a bit tired of hearing it every time I do my show, though. I was not much of a singer or a dancer. Ooh! Beautiful! What a lovely work of art! I wish I knew how to do that. That would be a fun medium to express ourselves in. But yes, yes, yes! So in addition to this game show, I've been quite busy hosting the game show, but I still have my other project. The, uh, the Everyone Museum. Have you been there? Oh, well... See, I have this uh, across the way in the... Ooh! That is absolutely stunning. So dangerous. I like it. Uh, yes, over across the way in the guts, which is the, uh, the Leventov, the ship that my, my sisters and I came here on, I decided to start a museum where everyone can be free to express themselves with no worries about... Uh... Oh. What was that? Oh. Oh! Hi, Russell. I hope you and Bernice are very happy together. Is that together. the time? I thought we had so much more of it to spend together. Hi, P311. Quickly, tell me about yourself. Um, what are your hopes and dreams? No, that'll take too long. Oh, yes. Yeah, Just tell me your name. How are you doing, Russell? Oh. I hope I hope no things time. are good. Keep it to yourself. Uh, say say You'll hi to Bernice for me. <laughs> you, you look great. I mean, like in a totally Mind drinks, everyone. Way. This could get bumpy. We're just friends. Sweet. A good, I, a good friends. Yes. Not awkward at all. <laughs> oh dear. I, I love you, Russell, uh, just as a friend. Uh, oh boy, see, that was so awkward. You see, I used to have a huge crush on Russell. Well, I guess I still kind of do. I mean, look at that, that perfect white hair and everything. But, you know, he and Bernice... Ooh, it's getting a little... And, uh, you feeling that? Well, uh, a little unmoored. You know, I've got to move on. I'm sure you use a find companion else, in this haze. You know, learn someone to, to help me find a way. Single woman, because guess I'm you supposed can't to be love anyone else for you, you all, love but even I get oh. a little... Yeah, that. Oh. But wait a sec. Who's up next again? Okay. What luck. Our next guest is a satin-voiced soothsayer Sure to commiserate and liberate, and friends, I've got goosebumps oh. just thinking about saying his name. Oh dear. Allow me to introduce you to the one, the only, the undeniably very handsome, Mr. Ronald Pete. Oh, I'm not a big fan of Ronald Pete, so I'm just, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go make some soup, but, um, I'll see you. I'll see you next time for the game show or for the museum or whatever. I'll, I'll see you soon. All right. Um, oh, don't tell anyone about the, the whole Russell thing. I'm very embarrassed about it. Um, be, be good. Keep making art. I'll see you soon. Bye. Fog hid the stars, and now I'm here behind prison bars. 